seaside town of Newport, Rhode Island is full of important historical U.S. landmarks that land this town on tons of must-visit lists. While the Gilded Era mansions attract most visitors, this area is also known for its unique ties to some of the most popular sports in the world. Newport hosted the first lawn tennis championship, now known as the U.S. Open, and it happened right here on this court in 1881. When I think of Halls of Fame, I think of the legends of the game, and I think of history telling, not history feeling. In this place, it is a National Historic Landmark that is 140 years old. It's one of the more scenic places on Earth, not just within tennis. We have three specific eras covered in the museum. First is the birth of tennis. And then we have an area from the First World War until 1968. And then ultimately we have an area dedicated to the professional sport when tennis became open in 1968. By far, my favorite artifact in the museum is a telegram from Jackie Robinson to Arthur Ashe, barrier breaker to barrier breaker when Arthur won the first U.S. Open in 1968. It's the sweetest, most important congratulatory message an athlete could possibly receive because it's so much more about impact on life and the world. We preserve the history of our sport. We celebrate through honoring the great legends of the game. And then we inspire the next generation by the storytelling that we do. So there's education here for the tennis fan, but there's world history here that can really educate and influence generations to come. From 1930 to 1983, the waters off Newport's coast were home to the prestigious America's Cup. Today, you can relive the excitement of having the wind in your sails on fully restored former America's Cup winning sailboats. The America's Cup, while it was in Newport, was held just offshore, uh, right around Brenton Reef. One thing that was really important in Newport here was consistent breeze. Not only did it bring a lot of wealthy people here in big mansions, eventually that brought the racing. Intrepid was designed by Olin Stevens in 1967, won the cup that year, and again in 1970. It's one of three two-time winners of the America's Cup since 1851. We also have the Weatherly, and the third boat we've got with us today is Heritage. We offer private family charters, weddings, and one of the big things we like to do is corporate team building. We get out and we get a bunch of people on different boats and we race with them and teach them how to do different functions on the boat and have a good time. People absolutely love it. I see this boat bring a lot of smiles to a lot of faces and it, it's a reminder of how special this is. The next sport with ties to Newport is one that might surprise you, auto racing. People know Newport as a sporting center, certainly for tennis and yachting, of course, but very few people know about the connection that Newport has with automobile racing. There are few more enthusiastic, young, wealthy sportsmen than Willie K. Vanderbilt. He started and awarded the first Vanderbilt Cup for auto racing here in Newport. Later, of course, the Vanderbilt Cup races moved to Long Island, where they really established themselves as the first important international racing in the United States. The first closed circuit automobile race was held in Cranston, Rhode Island in 1902. It's an amazing history that uh, Newport has with the motor vehicle. Exploring Newport's rich sporting history is easy to do, thanks to these awesome experiences that are available by land or sea, here in the Ocean State.